Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. You have that faraway look in your eyes. I was... I was remembering my dreams. You know, I think I dreamt of the Republic long before we ever saw it. I... I'd be walking the streets of the city, but it was the before times. With skyscrapers lit up like fiery totems of the sky. Traffic, exhaust smell, and more than anything... More than anything... People stuffing the streets, bustling, everything was so so crazy, so magnificent, so alive, so And you know what's funny? What, Luke? It wasn't memory. I saw it all on TV maybe, but I never set foot in that city. Not back not back then. And when we finally got there, it wasn't glorious. Just a chaotic echo of the madness it it had once been. All of us here have looked forward to this day for nearly 15 years. To say that we have suffered is to put too paltry a word on what we have endured. It has been unendurable. That changes today. Too long have you suffered under the tyranny of John Prophet, who sought to keep power for himself by oppressing all of you. We who became exiles in our own home have returned. And by the grace of God, we will take back the glory of America that once was. We are founding a new republic. And to wake her sleeping glory, today we will christen the source of all our power. The relic from old who shall live on, the Citadel. You may see the Citadel from across the bay and wonder what it is. How we survived for so many years on board. Today, we tell you the secret. It is in the power of the atom. Today, those atoms will power this entire city. It is time to at last awake, blessed city. Turn on the Citadel! There's another part of this story. That of those of us who grew up in the city of Corinth, who suffered through the breaking in this bloody, horrible place. You've got to understand, those of us who had been through all that, we're tired. We're tired of fighting. Tired of the madness. We were just looking for things to get back to normal. <laughs> Whatever normal might be, we had our ideas. We were looking for someone to lead us. There had been nothing but chaos for lots of years. Too many gangs to count, all with their own agenda, and all too busy killing each other to help us survive. That was up until Prophet came. And when Prophet went, well, there were plenty of other candidates, plenty of people who were looking for someone to follow them. And we sure did. Keep working! Keep working! Move that flag! Remember when the Republic first came here? It was gonna be all bread and roses. Instead, we're still pounding slag. Isn't that what you signed up for? Well, that was different when we signed up. Now I think we're prisoners. Some of us have done wrong. Oh, come on, man, lay off yourself. Shh, lay low, lay low. What's going on here? You're not halfway to your quota. This is a hard patch here. We got rebar in there. 
That ain't slowed down. Lucian has it. Huh, Lush? Yeah, doing just fine. I can't keep up. Well, then you'll be on the coal crew then. You like to do that? You like the dark? <laughs> I didn't <laughs> think so. Okay, y'all keep swinging! <laughs> Bastard. Let it wash off of you. The guy's a prick. It was never like this. When you was in charge of this, why'd you let him do it? Do what? He treats me fine. You don't need to take orders from him. You know I'm more than that turd about digging slag. They're the ones with the guns. So that makes them good? It makes them top dog. Isn't that the way it goes? You used to think different. Yeah, I used to get myself hurt. Now I just break slag. And then the shepherd did descend upon them, saying, Ye are but sheep, but stand with me, and together we are a flock who may stand. And those who assembled with him, one by one, sheep though they were, together they were an army. Hey, is, it, is that that guy you've been talking about? What? The guy from the west? What do you want with him? He's getting them all worked up. He's been talking all kinds of crazy talk. Well, what if he's right? What if all this is just nothing compared to what lies on the other side? What if a big cleansing is coming? Yeah, and Jesus is gonna bring back my mom and gonna bring back my granny too. If you've ever thought, but I'm a sheep, I am lost. I'm looking for meaning. There must be more to this than what I am now, digging in the ground like a rat. Then, then come to me, children, and listen. You want to go up and talk to him with me? Please. Hey, it's not going to help your quota. Screw the quota. Hey. Hey, Don. I just want to talk. Glorious Jesus, they call him. He will heal your wounded heart if you believe. If you believe, then you can stand with him while fire and brimstone rain upon the dragon. Hey, hey, you the man I heard about? Child, you come to hear the word. Tell me what you've been telling them about the end times. What's gonna happen with the New Republic? Hey, how many times do I have to tell you to get out of here? You can't stop me. Who says I can't? Ah, hey. Mind your own business, Loosh. Dig that slag. And as for you, preacher man, next time I see you, I'm putting you on this crew! I am but a lamb. A lamb sent by the prophet to redeem us. Won't you open up your hard heart? There's only one prophet, you idiot, and we're glad to be free of him! Would you open your heart and accept him? Go on! Centurion, you strike but a humble servant of the Lord. You go tell the Lord he can come back to my job site. That's when he's ready to break slag. Now go! You all right? You gotta wonder. If they fear him that much, he must be doing something right. Come on. There's brass in this one. 